you will need to take off bumper next one bolt over here and take this clamp up and you need to put screwdriver inside to spread the latch and take it off so you put screwdriver on here here you go press right in this spot And you have your decoration of and there are also bolts of this decoration. It's one bolt over there, up right here and up over there and yes. mount of the radiator and bolt over there and one pipes over here now take radiator and it goes to hang on over there and now you need to take off these two hoses of the radiator you need to Pull this clamp up and then pull hose. And go on to the floor. And another hose underneath. Maybe you want to do this from underneath. Uh, we try it from the top. Maybe you will have to loose it up. Some penetration lubrication. And current is full. Now from the top. And so it's radiate. Now can go out. Need to take five new hex to undo this propeller. Now seventeen millimeter spanner to take a belt. And you need to take off this belt of the compressor from underneath. Just take off the cap. If you need to replace this, and do one bolt over here. Six hex, and over there also six hex. Belts and 13 to undo these bolts of the tensioner. Four bolts of the crankshaft pulley. So good quality of 6 mil hex, and you undo hold with 19 and rotate one by one you will undo this pulley and just because this pulley is it's aluminum so you need to 
maybe do this thing and hit just with plastic hammer because you simply can damage surface remember that or wood Behind this pulley there is two bolts and two. So there is five of them. Terminal socket to undo bolts of the covers. So from up upper cover there is securing screw. Open closed and on the other side you need to press up to release these catches and also one here over there. Everything goes maybe in one piece. So without removal of the plastic frame, you have full access to the timing belt. And let's take a close look at it. Water pump. A little bit leaking, not much. Here, everything spine, seal, not leaking, belt in place, no damage on it. But to be safe, we will change it. That's why you see this video. This trace is just a dust from the tensioner tummy marks tummy mark of the camshaft over here and on this side you need to mark your own set your own markings because main Crankshaft timing mark is on the timing cover and on the crankshaft pulley. This small thing. So you rotate and align these two so now undo tensioner and it's 13 clockwise you rotate clockwise to untensure this tensioner so relax this tensioner you go clockwise and then the belt Water pump or coolant pump, terminal socket to undo. We have this place, but on the to remove water pump. And coolant is flowing. So now clean.
using this now new water pump you can lubricate with coolant or ring or with sealant or with VD40 and it will go easily inside just make sure that holes for the bolts are clean check for any uneven surface on the surface of the block and on the surface of the of water pump so everything is clean and now you start guessing easily clean these bolts because there is some trigger locker on them a small amount trigger locker tight bolts just don't do it at once slowly one by one Part number China. A new belt with tensioner and nut and washers. So first tensioner and you need to follow this arrow and it shows anti-clockwise you rotate anti-clockwise to align these markings this arrow and this notch well the ledge of the tensioner this one go goes on on that spot over there So if it doesn't fit on this spot, then you need to rotate just a little bit tensioner anti-clockwise and then it will be in place. Now washer and nuts. So you screw this nut just a little bit so the tensioner can move. It's because it will be easier to install timing belt. So you take timing belt and first on the crankshaft bracket. You can use this kind of tool made from metal stripe. Looking like that, then install on the tensioner, tensioner in place, but not tight, so it can move, and then you have two options, install first on the water pump, and then trying to install on the camshaft only, or like this. I will try to show it looking like that. First on the camshaft over here. Over there. Just halfway. And then trying to install on both of the sprockets. On the water pump and on the camshaft. And simultaneously. And it's the better way to do this. On the crankshaft sprocket, there is some imprint from the old belts, and you can push new belt to align 
with this imprint on the sprocket so everything will run perfectly just make sure that slug is 100% back in place over there Now it is. So you're gonna need some kind of these pliers. To fit in that hole, so with a special tool. And then you will need to align this turn anti-clockwise and see that it aligns well, if the alignment marks aligning perfectly and tight net and and rotate engine twice then check alignments all alignments and put back on everything you have and you should be really careful with this securing screw while installing cover back in place because you can easily break the mating part that is on the engine and it can be already a little bit broken don't rush to tight this middle cover timing cover left it loose like that it will be easier to install this upper one plastic if you have middle one loosen just install back in place easily just make sure that this upper cover is installed correctly and fitted perfectly in uh, its own places little spots because if it's not, there will be some weird noises when you start the engine. Total coolant capacity approximately 6.3 liters. I have drained something about 5.5 liters of coolant and add the same amount. You forget that you can remove also this cover back. It wasn't bothering me at all. So 